Welcome to the city of Aarhus, Denmark's second largest city. In 2008, the city set forth a vision to become carbon neutral by 2030 and has already managed to reduce its carbon emissions significantly. However, the true challenge is still lying ahead, as Aarhus, now more than ever, is dependent upon the whole city working together. Let us take a look at how Aarhus is working towards making its carbon neutral vision a reality. We start our tour by the harbour of Aarhus, where we will visit a seawater heat pump that produces three times more energy than it consumes. This innovative solution feeds green and cheap heating into Aarhus's elaborate district heating system that services the homes of 95% of the people of Aarhus. Welcome to the engine room. Here we have a new innovation project where we take heat out of seawater to put into district heating. We have the black pipes coming over here. That is the seawater coming in. And here we have the bottom part of our seawater heat pump, which is brand new, it's all made for this. The first big tank here is the evaporator, where we have the seawater coming in. At a very, very low pressure, it will boil. The steam will then be let on through a pump over here to the condenser. In the condenser, it will condense against cold water. So the refrigerant is just water here. We don't want any risk of contamination into the seawater because that we want to put out into the harbour again after we oxygenize it. Close to the seawater heat pump lies the Great Harbour House. This zero energy building is an example of how, even with a limited budget, you can create sustainable and livable solutions by incorporating them into design and architecture. It features a solar panel field on the roof of the house and distinctive solar cell frames on the southeast facade of the building that work as a balcony railing, noise shielding and sun protection. A wastewater heat recovery system and reinforced insulation also contribute to the minimised energy use of the building. Welcome to Dock 1, Aarhus's Library and Citizen Services at Aarhus Harbour. The sustainable icon for Aarhus also incorporates technologies such as solar panels and seawater. But what makes this building different than other sustainable buildings is what happens inside it. As one of the main focal areas of the municipality, emphasis is placed on actively involving the citizens and co-creating initiatives which support the city's overall target of carbon neutrality. This is for example done by testing new democratic methods such as citizen assemblies or participatory budgeting. Therefore citizens play an important role in shaping Aarhus as a sustainable and livable city. We are now outside of Dock 1 again. From here you can continue your city journey with different means of transportation. Transportation is currently the biggest challenge for reaching CO2 neutrality in 2030. Therefore, Aarhus is targeting CO2 reductions across the sector by providing its citizens with green options to change their commuting habits. In Aarhus, the cyclists have approximately 450 kilometres of municipal lanes to ride on, and there are national and regional cycle routes that go through the municipality. As a result of investments in safe and comfortable bike infrastructure, including bike paths and parking spaces, an estimated 20% of all commutes in the city are taken by bike. Aarhus also has a vision to be an electric and car sharing city. Therefore, charging stations are featured throughout the city. Implementing an electric light rail that would take you through the city and beyond as a replacement for diesel trains and buses has resulted in saving as much as 70% of the previous CO2 emissions. By means of direct electrification, both are sustainable alternatives to fossil fuel dependent vehicles and contribute to cleaner air in the city. In the city, the focus is on working with public-private partnerships and across sectors to create synergies and value for everyone. Being one of the fastest growing cities in the country, it's not only about transitioning the city, it's about using the green transition as a driver for creating a community where people thrive and business can grow. 
These initiatives will all support the goal of carbon neutrality by 2030 and a more livable city for our citizens. Let's continue to inspire each other towards a more sustainable future. Thank you for watching.